Tyrod Taylor went from four-year backup with the Ravens who never played because Joe Flacco was able to play all the games those four seasons. And then Tyrod Taylor becomes the starter in Buffalo and then gets traded after taking the Bills to the postseason to the Browns. And he started a few games, got injured. Baker Mayfield starts playing. Then Tyrod Taylor becomes journeyman, a backup. Backed up Mayfield the rest of 2018. Backed up Phillip Rivers last year. But now Taylor, the guy who by all appearances is penciled in as the number one guy in the Chargers depth chart. He told Tyler Dunn of Bleacher Report, all I can do is show him with the next opportunity. They shouldn't have slept on me. I'm definitely motivated more than ever. I'm motivated because I'm able to show my teammates and my coaches what I'm capable of doing. Peter, look, if the Chargers could bring in Cam Newton right now and give him a full and complete physical and check out his foot and his ankle and his shoulder, would they do that? Would they kick the tires and thoroughly explore the, the health of Cam Newton with the idea of maybe making him the guy if everything checked out? Probably, Mike. Probably, but not certainly. And I think one of the reasons is that Anthony Lynn, in this odd year, okay, Anthony Lynn really, I mean, one of the favorite players, one of his favorite players on the team is Tyrod Taylor. Been an excellent soldier, uh, has been a great team guy, really helped Phillip Rivers, um, and and was a good, you know, team backup guy, okay? And I think he believes that Tyrod Taylor, based on what he saw in Buffalo in that playoff season, and based on the kind of guy he's been with this team, which is kind of sort of what Teddy Bridgewater was in New Orleans, um, I think he, he wants to give... Tyrod Taylor this shot and I'm not saying it's forever and you make a very interesting point if they could have a blank slate with uh Cam Newton and they could do it right now would they do it they might but I don't think it's certain just because of the way Anthony Lynn feels about Tyrod Taylor and I keep coming back to my belief that the Chargers need to embrace the fact that they are in LA and I understand that they think they're going to draw in fans if they win games. And even the concept of drawing in fans seems alien right now because of the reality that we're inhabiting. But the idea of getting people to follow the team, watch them on TV, buy the jerseys. Cam Newton is a guy that can do it. And even if they go 12-4 and four with Tyrod Taylor, I don't think that's enough to win the battle in L.A. And, and maybe the disintegration of the Rams is the best thing that's happening to the Chargers. Maybe by default, if the Chargers can win, they'll start converting some fans. But to me, it makes it even more sensible to pursue a Cam Newton if they can come to the point where they're they're uh, confident that he's going to be healthy and able to contribute. But, you know, I and I don't want to downplay Tyrod Taylor's abilities. He has shown he can win, Peter. I just don't know how far he can take a team. We've seen Cam Newton take a team to a Super Bowl. It's right, Mike. And you just, the reason, the only reason that I put the asterisk on that, and I say probably they would do a deep dive into Cam Newton. It's because, look, go back to when I talked to him late last July, early August in training camp in Spartanburg, South Carolina. He talked openly to me about being a different quarterback. And he liked the fact that as he got into his 30s, that he has seen guys like Peyton Manning and and other older quarterbacks adjusting their games. And so he was looking forward to that. And that's why, because you really don't know what Cam Newton is going to be as a player. Is he going to be that guy who is the MVP Cam, who's going to run around and, and, and who's going to risk getting hit a lot? Or does he want to stay in the pocket more? And those are the kind of things, unless you do that deep dive, you just don't know. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.